This is a model of the white WC22 by Speccast, which was a popular truck made in America in the 1950s. It comes in a plain windowed box, but unfortunately there's no information about the uh, real truck, which is always a pity for a historic vehicle. The model itself is contained between a couple of clear plastic formers, and when you separate those, um, you can pull out the two parts, and that's just the uh, low boy trailer itself, and the white WC22 truck. And there's no information about the model. Starting with the WC22, the lights at the front are pretty good. The fender looks a bit plain, but that might have mirrored the original. And there's a Mustang emblem on top of the radiator. The side of the cab is fairly plain, only spoiled a little bit perhaps by the uh, visible hinge for the door. At the rear, the lights are painted in a simple fashion, but the mud flaps are rubber, and so they're quite nice to just play with. Turning the model over, the detailing is pretty good although most of it is plastic, but at least a reasonable attempt has been made to model both the transmission and the suspension. We'll now give the WC22 a rolling test, and it uh, rolls along all right. It's um, smooth enough. There's no suspension on any of the wheels, um, but they turn okay, and the steering is uh, a smooth mechanism. It's not got a lot of travel, though, so it's fairly limited to the angle at which it can steer. Um, but it doesn't foul at the extremities, it just uh, doesn't have much of an angle really, so you won't be doing any sharp turns in uh, in this one. There are some uh, nice features on the tractor unit though, and the first one is that the um, the doors open and they open widely. Um, and it's quite a good uh, mechanism really, and you can see inside there's, uh, there's enough detail there with uh, a gear lever and obviously a steering wheel. So. Um, that's pretty good. And it's the it's the width of the opening which is quite good on the doors. Another good feature is the opening hood, and um, it opens on both sides, and it's got one of those hinged piano style um, hoods. And when you open it up, um, there's a detailed engine inside, which is uh, quite reasonable and good to look at. And it's quite nice to just um, open that hood and fold it up, and then shut it back down again. <laughs> The low boy trailer is really a very simple piece, not too much detail around the gooseneck, the landing leg is quite simple. There's a bit of a detail along the edge in terms of the tie down. And the trailer deck is plastic, but it's a reasonable representation of a timber surface. At the back there are some painted rear lights. In terms of features there's not really too much to the trailer, it uh, rolls along, um, there's no suspension or anything on the rear wheels, and it can stand on the landing leg which is not adjustable. Really the only feature on the trailer is the loading ramps at the rear which can be lowered. Uh, they don't quite reach to the ground but uh, they're okay and uh, you can load a piece of plant on those and then fold them back up. Fixing the tractor and the trailer together is easy enough. The kingpin on the trailer just slots into the fifth wheel on the WC22 and when you've done that you can push it along and it works reasonably well. However, there is one issue, which is that because the landing leg is down and fixed in position, it restricts the angle you can get between the tractor and the trailer, so you can't pose the model turning sharply. To summarise, this is not an expensive model from Speccast, and to a degree the quality and the features reflect that. But the detailing on the WC22 is okay, and if you like American trucks like this, then it's a recommended model. <music> 